Judge's Corner is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the best online retailer for Magic the Gathering singles and seal product, and GatheringMagic.com, your place to explore the game. Now it's time for Judge's Corner. Every once in a while, the rules for Magic change, and this always means the same thing. The sky is falling and the game is ruined forever. Well, this was the case for Commander, where a small change was made to the rules, and it basically killed the format overnight. For those of you who don't remember what the format is anymore, or have never heard of it before, because, well, I mean, it doesn't exist anymore, right? You can go ahead and click the annotation on the screen to learn a little bit more about what Commander exactly is and how it works. But for the rest of you, you can learn a little bit about the history of what changes happened that, well, ruined this format forever. In March 2015, the Rules Committee for Commander changed one of the fundamental rules surrounding Commanders being returned to their owner's hand or being tucked, which is a term for putting a card to its owner's library. Previously, the rule said if a commander would go to the graveyard or exile, a replacement effect could be applied, allowing the owner of the commander to decide if they instead wanted to send their commander to the command zone, allowing it to be recast again later on for the compounded commander tax. But this didn't apply to commanders being tucked or returned to their owner's hand. This is where the rules changed. Before, if a commander would go to its owner's library or hand, it would just go there. Now, that has changed to give the owner of that commander the option to have it returned to the command zone instead. So, if a commander would be hindered, condemned, chaos warped, or unsummoned, the owner of that commander can choose to send their commander to the command zone, or have it go to wherever the spell says to send it. And this applies from any zone. Like, if a commander would go to the library from the graveyard from a cranial archive, that commander's owner can instead choose their commander in their graveyard to go back to the command zone instead of their library but the rest of the cards in their graveyard will still go to the library. The replacement effect of moving your commander to the command zone is entirely optional. So, if your commander would go to either the graveyard, exile, hand, or library, you can choose to return it to the command zone or not. But this replacement effect doesn't include a commander moving to the battlefield or the stack. An example is if your opponent casts a gather specimens to try and steal your commander. You can't choose to move your commander back to the command zone to avoid it being stolen. Also, in case you didn't know, all replacement effects don't use the stack, and they always occur right before the event they are replacing. Alright, so that seems pretty clear. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at a mechanic that may have actually played a role in changing the rules for Tuck. Manifest is a really weird ability, and before Fate Reforged, I never would have thought we'd see the day where instants and sorceries could exist on the battlefield, even if they're rendered as harmless generic tutus. Enter the Infinite, or like Enter the Bear Cub. Anyways, with Manifest in the game, it was now realistically possible to see a commander be put in the play face down on the battlefield, without anyone ever knowing that it really was the commander, except for the player who controlled it. However, the rules for commander make it so that even if a card is changed into something entirely different or turned over, it's still that deck's very specific and unique commander, and all combat damage from it would be commander damage. This means that when that 2-2 Manifest hits for 2 damage in combat, and it's really a face down Omnath, commander of your deck, that 2 damage is commander damage, and you can't hide that fact from your opponents. Even if you let your commander be tucked now and it's manifested into play later on, it still remains as that specific commander, dealing that specific commander damage, and your opponents will need to be made aware of it. Alright, all jokes aside, commander's actually thriving and doing really well. Every once in a while the rules change to magic, and every once in a while the community decides to have some backlash and basically state that the sky is falling and the game is ruined forever. And in 20 years, that's never been the case. And I suspect it won't be the case for the next 20 years. If you like the changes that have occurred, or dislike the changes that have occurred, or have actually played with it and want to give us your opinion, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think about it. Until next time, if you have any questions, you can always send us an email at judgescorner at gatheringmagic.com, or leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, we'd like it if you liked it. And if you dislike this video, well, don't shoot the messenger. And until next time, make sure to shuffle thoroughly, Play at a reasonable pace and have fun.